Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a requested reading and the question is, am I on the right career path? So, let's have a look. We've got six cards here today. So this is number one, two, three, four, five and six. So pick, you can either pick the affirmation that you feel resonates or pick the card that you feel drawn to but please use your intuition just taking a nice deep breath you could even close your eyes as you do this and then when you open them just see which one's pulling you the most okay because I feel like that will be the right group for you so again we've got number one two three four five and six so pick which group that you feel most which card you feel most drawn to and then we'll get started with the reading okay okay hello group one thank you for coming and choosing this reading so let's have a look um the question is am i on the right career path so let's see what spirit's message is here so you chose the i am loving so i am the loving energy of the universe okay so i'm just going to pop this one over here and let's have a look now i did shuffle these all face down okay so um i will flip them over now let's see what your messages are so we've got patience, participation, mind. Okay, ten of cups. The empress. Okay, moonlighting. Emotional withdrawal. And then we've got within the next few weeks. And if you believe. Okay, straight away I'm getting the sense group one that... Um, I feel like you're not quite on the right career path yet. I feel like you know what your career path is that you want to be on, but I don't feel like that you're quite there yet. I feel like, um, that you're working towards something and in your career, I feel like though that it's, it's not happening fast enough for you. I feel like it, you could be um, working, uh, doing some sort of, could be artistic work, it could be doing um, entrepreneurial type work, running your own business. Um, this could be something that you're looking into or this could be something that you're doing at the moment. Uh, I, I And, you know, I said in the beginning just before that I felt like you weren't quite on it i feel like some of you who may have just started like you may have already embarked on the path and for you i do feel like you are on the path however i feel like it's not sort of um it's not you sort of haven't got flow with it yet you're sort of not in that um you're not on that um smooth path with it yet if that makes sense um for some of you, I feel like you sort of, you, the actual work that you're doing at the moment is not actually your career path that, you know, that's right for you, but you're wanting to move into the career path that you really desire, as I was saying. Because I feel like um, you you have an idea of what it is that you want to do, but you're not quite there yet because and, you know, within the next few weeks, we have here from the angel card. So I feel like with that message is that if you don't, if you're not clear about it yet, you will be. If, you know, and if you feel like things aren't moving that direction, I feel like they will be, okay? And within the next few weeks, you should start to see things change. Your angels also want you to know that you need to believe in yourself and, and, and know that you can do this. Again, I'm really getting the sense this is about working for yourself or running a business, um, a self-starter type of thing. Um, and I feel like, you know, you need to believe in yourself. You need to really embark, uh, you know, take on this beautiful Empress energy and believe in who you are to be able to... Um, to be on that path that you're wanting to be on okay and i feel like you've really had to sort of withdraw 
um, you've been feeling a little bit unhappy about how things are at the moment okay and you're really wanting to get into this beautiful ten of cups energy like you're really wanting to have a home and life balance I'm feeling okay um, but I do feel like it's what's getting in the way is is your yeah again it's your beliefs I feel like you've may not be feeling like you're good enough or you may not be able to see how you can actually do this or you don't know whether it's going to be the right thing for you or you may even be um you may even be sort of hearing from others and this won't be for everyone but this is popping in you may be hearing from others that like oh this is not the right you know this is this is crazy to do this or this is not going to earn you enough money okay because um you know i'm feeling like i'm really feeling like this is something you want to do and then we have here from the angels of abundance deck here it says you can start working on your dream career part-time while keeping your other job to pay the bills soon your dream career will take flight and will fully support you so i feel like this is a message from spirit that um just if you know if you're too if you're not feeling confident enough right now just to really um you know just fully open up to like this project or this business that you're wanting um that you may you may be feeling a little bit of you know worry around the finances and things like that or you know spirits saying to you know work just get yourself something part-time while you work on it so then that sort of um qualm uh, what's the right word it sort of settles any fears that you might be having in regards to finances okay and I feel like there's going to be a little bit of hard work to get there but I do I, I see that you will be getting there so I feel like guys am I on the right career path I definitely feel like you you're on your way to the right career path um, but you may have to you may have to as I was saying do some work while you're on your career path some of you I'm also getting the message that you might already be um, sort of doing part-time work and I feel like for you I feel like um, you really want to move forwards with your own stuff but you're sort of um, you've I feel like you've had enough of like working a normal job and you're really wanting to move forwards um, and spirit saying just to have patience because it, you know you, you want to be able to you want to be able to allow this to flow forwards naturally um, because especially if you've got some fears there some worry there around finances or whether this idea that you have whether it's going to take off okay take what resonates but if you have that surrounding you it can get in the way of your progress so if you can have something that's sort of just for a little while longer until that opens up for you then I feel like um, it's all just going to flow in the right direction for you okay so just have a little bit of more patience um, and I'm seeing this participation card here and I'm feeling like what I'm seeing with this card is that there could be people coming in for you that are going to help you in some way. Uh, what sort of way? I feel like this could be like maybe networking, ideas that may come from others on how you can expand, opportunities that may come from others. I do feel like there's some working with others to get you to where you need to be. And this is the message is coming really strongly through now is that this patient the, the patience that's needed for you is because you're waiting on this essentially, right? And um because when this when this help comes in when this participation with others comes in then you'll be able to expand and then everything is going to fall into place for you okay so i've got some more cards here okay so we've got 
creative expression your song soul longs to express itself creatively so i feel like you know you are a creative person and i feel like this is part of your path and i feel like this is why you know as i was saying before i feel like um you're sort of moving moving into an area that um is self-starting which i mean like your own project it could be art it could be music it could be um an online business you know it could be any number of those things but I, you are a creative person and I feel like also if you feel like you're getting in your head a lot and you're worrying a lot and you you're waiting for things to happen okay because I'm really getting that sense with this card over here that you're really waiting it's like when's this gonna happen for me like uh, you know you, you just you feel like it's like you have to be in this grind of of daily work that you're not really interested in that you're really wanting to get to where you want to be well I feel like spirit has a message here is to get creative start writing down how you feel start doing your artwork start doing your creative pursuits to get yourself out of that mind your mind and get you into more flow and get you more into the feminine as well okay and mind you when I talk about the feminine I'm looking at this card as well and I can see she's got a full belly here so I feel like you really are about to give birth. If you haven't already started your business, I feel like you're just, you are going to start it very soon. And if you've already started and you, um, I feel like you, um, it will definitely be expanding very soon. Um, we've also got family, which is interesting because we have family here. So I feel like, um, you could be working with children. If you're not working with children, um, you could be looking for, like, as I was saying before, you're wanting that, like, family life balance. So you, you may have children yourself and you're wanting to be able to spend more time with your children and then, you know, time doing the things that you want. You want to free up free up time in your life to actually live as well so that you can have a beautiful balance in your life. Um, and, you know... I get the sense here with that family card and the Ten of Cups here that, you know, you are a family person. And if you, and part of, um, I feel like too that you, this is not part of the career. This is just coming up. I feel like you're wanting that family life, okay? I feel like you're wanting, um, you're wanting to be able to, yeah, have time with your family and really feel fulfilled and be able to, you know, have children and play with your children and and be able to, yeah, as I was saying before, just really have that balance in your life. If you're not wanting to have children, um, this could be just in regards to, you could even be wanting to help families. I just feel like there's a family focus here, especially with these two cards, okay? And um, and also with your creative expression here, I feel like it's just going to, as I was saying before, it's going to allow you to expand and also open your heart, I'm hearing, okay? Because remember... You chose the card here. It says, I am the loving energy of the universe. So you're opening up to this beautiful loving energy, okay? You are this beautiful loving energy and you're opening your heart to more love in your life as well, okay? That's just what I'm channeling through. So let's have a look. I've got three cards that were picked out here from the um, Surrender deck. I can't remember the full name of it. Um, and this is what you can surrender to in order to help you moving forward. So we've got surrender obsessive thinking, surrender stubbornness, and surrender resentments. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys. I feel like with the obsessive thinking, I feel like this is to, more to do with what I was saying before about the worry. Like... Should I be doing this? Like, when's this going to happen? Like, it's almost like going like around and around in your mind. So I feel like that's what that's got to do with. Let's read it out. It says, 
If you're obsessing about a personal situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity and or even solve the problem. So if you're worried about what direction you're going in or whether it's going to happen for you, rather than sitting in that energy, um, you know, hand it over to spirit and to, to get yourself into more peace, okay? And surrender stubbornness. I actually feel with this card... To me, it's almost like I'm actually, and I know this is may not be about stubbornness, but what's coming through is like control. So, you know, and a lot of us do this. We want things to happen in our timing and, but life has its own timing. There's no real time. Okay. Things happen when they happen, when they're meant to, when it's aligned, because everything's energy, everything's frequency. Okay. So I'm getting the sense here it's more about um, surrendering sort of a, that control because I feel like, you know, with the stubbornness, it's, to me, I feel like it's almost like um, an expectation of when it should be happening and how it should be happening, if that makes sense. So just surrendering that and allowing things to flow, like I was saying. Okay, so we've got also surrender any resentments. So I feel like this could be do, to do with family. Um, I'm also feeling that maybe, uh, yeah, okay. So I'm feeling like the re surrendering resentments could also be to do with, again, that maybe because things aren't happening the way that you match them or the way that you like it to happen um perhaps you've got some resentments about how it's turning out for you or that it's not turning out as quickly as you would like um so spirit saying just holding on to resentments only poisons you try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forwards to towards positive situations in your life uh, in your situation i feel like this is this has to do with focusing on the positive, focusing on how far you've come and focus on believing in yourself as well. I'm just going to move them out the way for a minute. So you've got really good cards here, guys, and it looks really positive to me. So, you know, even if you need to take some time out for yourself to really um, find that inner peace as well, because... And, you know, like I was saying, within the next few weeks, I can see things moving forwards for you. Just believe in yourself. It's a really strong message, okay? Um, and you are going to be well and truly on your career path, steaming forwards um, very soon. So thank you very much for connecting with me, Group 1. I hope that helps you in moving forwards. And have a beautiful rest of your day or night, wherever you are. Okay, so group two, for those of you who picked this card here, uh, this card is from the uh, the Universe Has Your Back Oracle deck. Um, and it says, I am unap unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. Okay, that's a really good message. So let's have a look what messages Spirit has for you on whether you're on the right career path or not. Okay, group two, so I shuffled all of these face down. Now let's have a look whether you're on the right career path or not. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you. I'm not doing the rest. Okay. Okay. So let's have a look at what messages we have for you here. We've got playfulness, integration, and flowering, flying free. Okay. First of all, I'm going to start with the angel card here, which is compromise. So I feel like there's a compromise that you need to make 
there's something that needs weighing up here okay um i feel like okay straight off i'm hearing that for some of you you have had some trouble at work okay you've been um you've been sort of betrayed or I feel like you could have been bullied where you've been working. and I feel like you feel like you've been stuck. Um, for some of you, I feel like you um, you want to move forwards, but you can't clearly see where it is that you're going, okay? And this is causing you some grief, okay? Because we've got her blindfolded here. We've also got her blindfolded here. So she's not seeing where to go clearly, okay? So I feel like, I feel like that, um, I, I actually get the feeling that you're not, you're not really sure about where to go. I feel like you need to free yourself and I feel like you need to let go of things. For those of you who've been um, been in workplaces where you've been hurt, betrayed, um, bullied, I feel like you need to let go of that as well um, so that you can move, move forwards and out of that energy and into a new energy. Um, for those of you who are not sure which direction to go in, um, I feel like you really you really need to free yourself okay and there's a here we've got patience and planning so I feel like you need to spend some time alone um, at, to figure out what it is that really makes your heart sing okay what it is that you're passionate about what is it that makes you feel really good and go in that direction okay because and we've also got like over here we've got playfulness cards so you know this guy in the card here and i'll just grab the card okay he just looks like he doesn't care about anyone anything he's in his element and he's just shining his own light so i feel like it's time for you to really um not care what anyone else thinks and start doing things that really feel good for you okay what really what you're really passionate about and if you're not sure what you're passionate about i feel like you need to start exploring life again okay and i'm saying again for some reason so i feel like for some of you even could have like just been on the same road like just sort of plodding along and just um really not moving not really moving out of your comfort zone okay that's what spirit's saying you've been sort of sitting in your comfort zone um perhaps even for some of you you've been earning really good money with the job that you've got but it's not feeling it's not making you feel happy you're not feeling you know you may be feeling abundant financially but you're not feeling abundant emotionally and you know and, and spiritually you you know you're just putting up with things because you're just you, you're comfortable you know and you don't want to get out of your comfort zone because you're, you're a little bit afraid okay um i really feel like you need to you really need to again as i was saying just before you really need to find yourself and, and and find what it is that makes you feel good and do that and be that and you know free yourself okay we've got i unfurl my wings and fly spirit's saying it's time for you to fly it's time to move out of this energy of holding back okay um and you know with this card here as well um, with the seven, firstly, that's about growth and it's also about your spiritual energy. And, you know, with this, these pillars here, okay, these are very strong, they're firm. And you walk through those pillars and you can see the light. I feel like you need to find what your light is and move towards that, okay? Um, because that's going to form even stronger pillars in your life. So um, if you're feeling like you're getting some ideas about 
like I, I'm getting the sense with some of you that you may be feeling it's like oh, I really want to do this but then you're like no 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 I can't do that because it's not going to it's not going to be able to sustain me financially or it's not going to be able to um, you know it's too uncertain for me to move forwards in that direction but I really feel like it's time to you to be a judge in your life okay you need to you know really have a review i'm getting the sense from the justice card like to me when i look at this justice card i see it as for you like i don't know if you can see that really well okay i see f for me it's showing me that you're sitting there and you're weighing things up spirit wants you just to really look at the truth of your situation and if there needs to be a compromise if there's something that needs to leave your life this is something that's not serving you anymore then you need to make a decision okay you need to decide how do you want to live okay how does that look for you what are you willing to do what are you willing to compromise moving forward so that you can start to live your life um, more abundantly emotionally okay for some of you too i'm getting the sense that um this also could be to do, and this is not everyone, but it, this message is coming through, so I'm going to say it. Um, I feel like for some of you, you may be, you may have seen a job that really feels right for you, but it may not be in your city. Okay, I feel like you may have to move cities, um, and you may feel like, oh, you know, you may feel like, oh no, I better not. You may be afraid of like actually freeing yourself and going for that job because you may be worried that, you know, because it's out of your comfort zone. It doesn't feel comfortable for you. You have to meet new friends. You have to, you, you've got a new place to live and it's a lot of change for you. So if this is the case for you, you know, the angels are saying it's up to you. If you really want to make a change in your life and you're feeling like something is good for you perhaps it's time for you to move in that direction so if you're feeling guided to move cities for this job do that because that's going to be more aligned with your path because it's coming from your heart okay um and that's another thing we've got a lot of swords here like we've got one two three and we've got four swords cards here so i feel like you know this is you getting into your head about things and you trying to work out whether it's you know you know whether this is going to be worth your while okay but i'm really feeling like it would be because if you take a chance and if you move in the direction of what your hopes like your heart is calling for then then you will feel i feel like there'll be an unfoldment in your life okay and then you know you'll be shining your light okay i'm going to have a look at what other cards we have here sever the vows of poverty cooperation instead of competition and dreams of abundance so you know like i was saying before i felt that you were sort of holding on to something because of financial worry okay um and this what this is coming from is from vows of poverty okay so i'll read out this card it says dear one there's no need to suffer or sacrifice hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime as you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. So it's, it's time to sever any vows of poverty. It's time to sever any beliefs that you're not good enough or that you can't, that you won't be okay because you will be okay, okay? Um, I'm also hearing like, you know, the sort of like that oh, i'm trying to think of the word lack i just keep hearing lack like feeling like you're not going to have enough okay i feel like 
you need to let go of that as well. Cooperation is the competition. When what yours is yours and no one can take it from you, there's no need to compete as there's an abundance for all. You have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything. So I feel like with this, because because you're um, you're really you you're sort of keeping yourself in a comfort zone. You may be looking at other people and seeing how far they've coming, and you may be like, oh, you know, they're doing so well, and um, but I feel like it's it's the message here is about focusing on yourself and focusing um not focusing externally of you and believing that you you can do this and what you have your gifts you, what's special about you is worth bringing in um abundance for or with so i can't speak today <laughs> um that what you have to offer in this world is enough and that there is plenty to go around for you and everybody else because your gifts are unique to you, okay? So, you and also another message I'm getting is if you, um, if you have decided that you know in your heart what it is that you want to do moving forwards in your career, um, working with others may also be helpful to achieving your dream as well okay and we've also got dreams of abundance as you sleep god your angels and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas answers and solutions be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality okay so make sure you're dreaming big make sure you're visualizing a life for yourself that's um, not only financially abundant, but also emotionally abundant, um, playful, happy. You know, dream bigger for yourself and believe that you can, you can have it all, okay, is what I'm hearing. Because I just feel like you are restricting yourself, okay. You're holding yourself hostage in your own life in a way, okay? So, and also your dreams could be giving you messages. So have a um, notepad and pen by your bed so you can write down all the symbols from your dream. Okay. So with this card, I asked um, what could be part of your um, career path and it's got crystals it says your connections to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy so with this card I feel like you could work with crystals um, you could have a really good um, a, you could be using them for healing yourself or healing others um, another message I'm getting though is that actually working with the crystals to help you in freeing yourself okay and to help you finding your life path is what i'm hearing okay so for those of you because we've had a few different messages within this reading for those of you who are uncertain about which way to go or what it is that your heart truly desires career wise the crystals are going to be really helpful for you um I will try and remember, guys, to look up which crystals are going to be helpful. Um, I'll see if spirits can drop any in. What sort of crystals? Mm, I'm seeing a crystal, but the names get me. I'm seeing like an orange crystal here. Maybe orange calcite is what I'm seeing. Uh, but anyway, I can have a look and put down some suggestions in the description box as well. Or you can just go to a crystal shop and just feel which one feels right for you. Okay. So I'm just going to grab this card that you picked in the beginning. 
which is I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. So, you know, if you feel something in your heart, let that expand, let that grow. And as I was saying to you before, your angel's message, it's up to you. It's up to you to make these changes in your life. It's because there's some action here for you to take. I definitely feel that. And I, I, I feel like it's, it's time. It's time for you to free yourself. That's the message I keep hearing for you, group two, to really move forwards on your career path. Because I feel like at the moment where you're at in your career path, I feel like it's not right. Like I just, I feel like there's an opportunity here to move forwards and I feel like it's time for you to free yourself, okay, and really weigh up what your heart really desires, okay, not what the mind's telling you, okay, not this little, not holding yourself back, okay, so that's messages I'm getting for you, group two, I wish you all the best in moving forwards, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up, and you can Tell me how it is in the comments. Uh, have a beautiful day or night wherever you are. Thank you. Hello, group three. For those of you who picked this card here, the presence of love will always cast out fear. Let's have a look now what spirit has, what messages they have about whether you're on the right career path or not. Okay, group three. Now I did pre-shuffle all of these face down. Now I'll turn them over and have a look what message Spirit has for you. Okay, the lovers, guilt, funding, partnership, singing. Ooh. Exercise, spirit of fortune. And if you're not doing these in reverse. Oh, this is really good. Okay. Okay. Straight away, there's a decision that you're wanting to make. Or that you'll need to make I feel like I feel like you're embarking on a new path I don't feel like I mean you could have already started with something but I'm feeling like for a lot of you that you've already um, you're making the decision to embark at on this new career journey and I feel like this is part of your destiny so you are either yes on the right career path right now or you will be in the very near future I feel like for a lot of you you're not quite um, you're not quite there yet however you're moving in that direction okay um, I feel like you've been doing some work on yourself um, I feel like you've been finding who you are. I feel like you've been changing um, a lot of your perceptions about yourself. I also feel like you've been maturing, okay? I feel like some of you are quite young, um, and uh, but I feel like you're quite mature for your age, okay? This is not everyone, but this is the message I'm getting. Um, and I feel like you are quite a really... Um, quite a really beautiful person okay I just want to say that you're a really lovely person and I feel like whatever path that you're going into career wise you're really going to um it's really, you're really going to blossom further and it's going to, you're really going to bring this beautiful energy with you and I feel like you already do that with whatever you do but particularly when you move on to your um the path that's right for you sorry if you can't see all the cards um you know your life 
destiny, your life purpose pretty much is what you're moving into. And, you know, you're going to really shine. You're really going to bring this beautiful energy along with you, okay? And don't feel guilty because you, this decision that you may, you need to make, it may not be aligned with what everybody else wants for you, okay? Um, or it may not even be aligned with whatever your thoughts are, okay? Your programming, what I mean by programming is what society thinks is right, okay? So don't feel guilty, okay? Because look at all these flowers above here. This darkness here, you know, it's, 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 it's your thought. It's like, oh my gosh, should I, shouldn't I, like... Um, can I even do this or if I do this I'm going to be putting this person out or um, you know my my parents said that I should be doing this so I mean however it looks for you you know up above here there's this beautiful as I said you're a beautiful person look at all these flowers here don't allow this mind stuff to get in the way of of this beauty that's all around you okay and I I get this sense that once you clear this and you let go of this cloud that's hanging over you right now, you're just going to be in your element. You're just going to be this beautiful, oh my goodness, this is real loving energy about you, this nurturing energy, this, this real beautiful feminine essence about you, okay? And this could be for men or women, but I'm just getting that energy, okay? And there's this real flow about you, okay? So I feel like, you know, once you really embrace that about yourself, you know, you're, you're just going to be, you're just going to really be shining a beautiful light, okay? And, you know, the angels are saying opportunities coming your way in the very near future, okay? Which is going to lead you down this path. There may be some work on this path okay there may be some there may be some little there may be some aspects to this career that will need to fall into place okay there may be some creating that you need to do there may be some help that you may be needing on your path to get to your desired outcome as well because I feel like there's going like if there's not already you've got quite a big purpose you've got quite a big goal ahead of you okay and so and i feel like there's going to be partnerships it says allow helpful supportive partnerships into your personal life and career and both parties benefit as a result you are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources so as i was saying i feel like there's going to be people coming they're going to be helping you on this path because I do feel like this is quite um, quite a big purpose for you and this is destiny as I say so I feel like, really feel like things are just going to line up for you um, it's almost like spirit showing me it's like once you start getting that ball rolling I can just see the ball moving it's not moving fast and it's not moving slow, it's just consistently moving. And there's just a flow about it. It's almost like if I just move this feather across, it's like that flow. Um, so, and I don't see any obstacles in the way. So, because like I said, I feel like this is destiny. And you're being led in the right direction. Spirit's leading you in the right direction. And if you haven't met people yet in the near future, there's going to be partnerships that are going to be coming in that are going to help you with this as well. Um, we've also got successful funding. So, you you know, some of these partnerships may be bringing in some, some money to help. Or you may be getting funding for a particular project or for um, lab. I, I'm seeing a lab. So for some of you, you, you know, this could be a particular message for somebody watching. Um, it could be to do with like something that, um, like a, I don't know what to call it. It's like I'm seeing like a lab and thinking of science, something to do with science and like you need funding for that science projects so that you can do the research and things like that this could also be like something to do with charity as well 
It says your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crowdfunding, partnerships and other investments are available to help you. So reading that, what I'm hearing is that once you take these steps and once you get that ball rolling, like I was saying, you're just going to have the help. It's going to be there for you. There's an element of trust here. So, so you know, this cloud that's hanging over your head, let it go. Um, refocus your energy onto, onto, um, onto opportunity and allow things to take place for you. Okay, that's the message for you. All right. And, you know, as I'm saying that, I'm being brought back to this card from the very beginning. It says the presence of love will always cast out fear, you know, and this could be some of this cloud that's hanging around you. And you can see that darkness there. This inside is all the love, right? Here's this all around it, but you need to open up to the open up and clear that way. And, you know, spirits backing you this career path that you're embarking on it is divinely guided it will you will be supported okay you will be supported all right and i feel like you will be getting ideas um you know you will be getting like a lot of clarity coming in a lot of ideas coming in so write them down okay because they are being divinely guided, okay? They're being brought through for you to move forwards in this path. Um, let's have a look what these cards have for you. Okay, Leah, let go. Walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. Let go of these fears. Let go of the guilt. Let go of this cloud around you, okay? Um, do what feels right for you, okay? books you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books so this could be to do with um part of what you're embarking on okay you could be you could be about to write a book um you could be writing a blog you could be starting a web page um you could be even doing like i'm hearing podcast or something like that something of an educational purpose okay so you could even be teaching others right um or you, there could be some research that you could do to help you in moving forwards as well. Oh, study. There we go, research. Reading, research and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. So if you're not feeling confident about something and something's really worrying you, um, just doing some further study or some research just to really clarify, okay? And we've got the owl here, you know, the owl's... It's known as the why. It's called the why is owl. You know, it's using your inner wisdom, using your inner knowing and trusting your inner knowing. Trusting that you've got this too, okay? And that, yeah, like I was saying before, you may even just like find reading books um, within the area that you're looking at moving into just really inspiring and that may help you move in that direction um without all that fear or worry getting in the way right what else do i see i'm being drawn to the key so i really feel like for you this study or this research is really going to open the doors for you as well so if you've been thinking about studying or doing some research or something um i would say go in that direction as it's really going to help you with your career path for some of you also you may be working in universities okay this could be part of that career all right um we have this card here. It says, surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships to more effectively achieve your goals. Back off, regroup and give the situation some breathing room. Um, for some of you, it might be about people, but I really feel like the message here is about, about 
you like not trying to be controlling over yourself like or trying to um you know push yourself beyond what what you're capable of or you know like i'm getting the sense here that some of you may be a little bit hard on yourself and you know have a high expectation of where you should be at or what you should be doing but i'm really getting the feeling that you know Things are really going to flow really easily for you once you get that ball ro rolling. So don't try and control it. Just allow it to happen. Things are going to be working out a lot smoother for you, okay? And also what I'm hearing too for some of you in regards to the decisions where it might be to do with somebody else um, who might be trying to control you, maybe trying to tell you how you should, what you should be doing, which direction you should be going. And I feel like for some of you, it's like the snake energy. It's like this person's toxic. This These personal people have not got your best interests in mind. Um, so it's time to let go of anybody who does not align with your true and, and highest good, okay? And yeah, this can be difficult. But in order to find loyal people, people who cheer you on in your life and move you towards your goal career-wise, um, you know, anybody who doesn't do that, then they're, they're, they're not serving you moving forwards. Okay, so that's a really strong message, actually. So I feel like for a lot of you, this is about other people. All right. So, yeah, let go of those people who do not help you, who do not inspire you because you've got some loyal people coming and you've got some partnerships coming in that are really going to help you moving forwards. So don't worry about finances everything is going to work out for you this is destiny okay what you're about to bar embark on is destiny if you have not embarked on it yet if you don't even know what i'm talking about this there's going to be something that will come in for you an idea and you're going to feel really good about it and and the rest will be history because you'll just start moving in that direction, okay? So that's the messages I have for you, Group 3. I wish you all the best moving forwards in your career. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up and um, send me a comment and let me know how it resonated for you. Thank you. Hello, Group 4, and thank you for picking this reading and for this card it says when i'm in alignment with the love of the universe peace cannot be disrupted so let's have a look what messages spirit has for you in regards to whether you are on the right career path or not okay group four so i shuffled all these foot face down um let's have a look what messages we have for you now this okay so this is really interesting as i was doing your card um shuffling your cards this song came in my head like um how's it going come on baby light my fire okay something like that right come on baby light my fire you know like that okay not trying to sing here but i had to let you know that this song was coming through so this is going to be really interesting um so perhaps you need to light your passion Okay, you need to light your way forwards. Let's have a look at the messages. We've got Beyond Illusion, Intensity, The Dream, Ooh, The World, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, The Two of Wands, The Ten of autumn say what you mean okay let's have a look what messages we have what am i feeling just saying seeing you i'm seeing travel coming up for you Okay, for some of you, I'm seeing travel. It's definitely coming up for you. Because um, I'm seeing this movement of energy. I'm seeing him holding the, the world here. And then we've got the world card. So I can see you traveling. Um, okay. 
Are you on the right career path? I feel like I keep pausing. So I feel like there's a sense to me here that it's almost like there's a pause going on for you right now. I feel like you I feel like there's an, a bit of doubt, a bit of uncertainty. However, yeah, I feel like you sort of maybe you're up in the clouds about it at the moment. Perhaps you just haven't really expressed what it is that you really want to do moving forwards. But once you do, I can see you moving forwards rather quickly. Um, you need to see beyond the illusion. You need to see beyond um, what's coming, what's um, happening for you right now. And I, I'm really finding it difficult to get my words out. So I'm definitely feeling a, that element of doubt here and a little bit of uncertainty and just um stopping and starting energy as well okay you you need to take a deep breath okay i'm also getting the sense that you're getting like there's a lot of energy here there's a lot of fire energy here because i'm seeing a lot of red um and with this intensity card i feel like it's almost like you could be looking, you could be seeing what it is or visualizing what it is that you want to do. And you just may be feeling like this big drive to move forwards. Um, and, and I feel like for some of you, it could be quite overpowering. Um, just really take a deep breath, get into the present moment, allow yourself to um, allow yourself to get back into alignment so that you can move forwards gracefully, okay? Um, for some of you, I can see that you've got, um, you may have children, you may have a family and you may be, um, really wanting to secure, you know, your life because we have take steps to ensure the financial security of your children, loved ones. So I feel like you have, a, you feel like you have a responsibility or you have a responsibility for family. Um, if you don't have a family, then you're looking at that for your future. So you're really deciding now um, what it is that's going to bring you abundance so that and financial security so that when you do have a family, that you really have that security behind you. I feel like something needs to end in your life before this new a new beginning comes in. That's something I'm hearing. I'm also hearing to allow the magic into your life, allow some flow into your life, allow um, allow spirit to give. They, spirit wants you to allow yourself to receive as well. I'm going to have a look what else we have here. Power of prayer. Release resentments about money. Have the courage to ask for and accept help. And guys, I'm feeling like a lot of worry here. I can actually feel it. And I just feel really stressed. So you guys are quite stressed. Yeah, I can feel it. You are really stressed about this. About your career. Perhaps you've been looking for work and, you know, you're not able to find it. Or... You know, you've got dreams about what you want, what you want to do, but you don't know how to get there. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling a lot of stress, a lot of emotion, um, and you know, like a yeah, you need to like I, I'm getting this. You need to. I just want to breathe, um, and I just feel like your energy is quite like a little bit scattered as well. Because even I'm as I'm talking, like I tend to. The way spirit gives me the messages is like sort of I take on some of the energy and that's how it's brought through. So I'm just feeling like, you know, things a little bit all over the place and scattered. Okay. And again, I feel like there's some things that need to be, that need to come to an end in your life so that you can move forwards. And once you, once something ends in your life, like whether this is career or family, it's, I feel like it's, for some of you, it's a career. For some of you, it's family. Okay. And why, why might family come into it? Because 
um, family may be holding you back, okay? From moving forwards in your career, okay? Um, this could even be a partner that's not supporting you, okay? That's not hearing you, okay? They may not be hearing what what it is that you feel and they might not understand your dream and they might be holding you back. If this is not the case for you, um, please disregard this message. If you've got someone really loving in your life, if family is really loving and supportive in your life, disregard this message. This is just for the people that do have this um, happening in their life because I am getting these messages, okay? Now, the angels abundance say the power of prayer. Give this situation to God for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources, love and answers are waiting for your prayers. Be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives to you in response to your prayers. So they want you to, the angels want you to um, send out a prayer asking for um, help regarding this situation, this person that or people that you might need to let go of and also asking for help in regards to your career um, to help you moving forwards in your career as well. And because I'm feeling like as well for some of you that um, you may be feeling like you you can't sort of you want to move forwards with something and you, you yet you're feeling like you're a little bit blocked from it. Um, but help them to get you moving forwards. And then when they bring through, like, you might get an idea to do something or read something or, you know, just follow any guidance that you get after that, um, any feelings, any thoughts, because that's your prayers being answered. Um, they're also saying release resentments about money. Yes, the money system in the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world. And excuse me. And this will shift. Uh, this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. So not focusing on what's wrong with the world, but focusing on what what's abundant. What's what's a positive way of looking at what's what. Um, you know, you could you could even focus on people who are really helpful around you. People who. Um, you know, I like to watch how people share things like I love seeing it when, you know, I used to live in like a little country town and, you know, the neighbors would be like, oh, you know, I've got, you know, this leftover fruit. Would you like it? And I'll give that. And then, um, you know, there's just such a giving attitude. And I love seeing that because that's abundance. That's giving and receiving. And. Um, I feel like if you start to notice all of that outside of the money system in the world, that that will really sort of ease your um, resentments about money as well. And again, it's like using money as a tool in order to move you forwards other than um, looking at it as something that's evil or something that um, just causes problems, okay? Have courage to ask for and accept help. Asking for help is a sign of strength, as is accepting it as it's offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided. And again, this comes with a prayer. If you're asking for, if you've been praying to the universe for help and then you hear something um, from somebody else, or you might be someone, you might hear a conversation, really start to get in the present moment so that you are aware of everything around you so that you can get these messages from people around you, okay? Because um, that's coming through from your guides, from your angels, okay? Donations, tithering, tithing, tithing? What's that? Tithing. Hmm. I'm not sure what that is. If you know what that is, please let me know in comments. And charitable work. Give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you and know that your generosity will return to you many fold in miraculous ways. The time, supplies, monies or other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies. Okay, so 
we've got to know. So I don't feel like at the moment, right now, I don't feel like you are on the right career path. But Spirit's saying that, the angels are saying that it's going to happen in perfect timing. And as I was saying before, I feel like some things um, or someone needs to be let go of. There's something that needs ending in your life, okay? Or you need to leave a particular job to move in a new direction. Um, but I'm also feeling like, again, as I was saying, I feel like you're going to be traveling. And I'm also getting the sense that, you know, as I was saying, that you're looking, you're really looking into at the moment what it is that um, is going to bring you um, the security that you're after moving forwards for your family, um, for your lifestyle as well, I'm hearing. And we've got this card here, light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing, light and love to this world. So you've got a really... You've got a beautiful energy and you've got something beautiful to bring to this world. And I feel like, um, you know, that things are going to really open up for you soon. Like to really make sure you dream big, okay? Make sure that you get out of the illusion of what's going on around you and start focusing on your dreams, okay? This is the message of spirit. Because also the world can be about completion. So I feel like there's, you know, and I've said before, I feel like something needs to be completed. Um, and then you'll be moving into your, um, onto the right career path. But make sure you, even I'm hearing pay attention to your dreams as well, but definitely dream big. Start visualizing something really great for yourself and play with it. Um, get into the energy of imagination, you know. It's amazing. Imagination is is like key to you becoming um, becoming something amazing. Like it to to you finding your path, to you finding, you know, to being creative in your life. And you know, sometimes when we're young, we, when taught to like when we when we get out our imagination, you know, we're sometimes taught stop being, you know, stop being so. Um, you know, stop fantasizing or, you know, you might have back in the past, you might have had ideas and, you you know, people might have said to you, oh, that's ridiculous. Like, you can't do that. Like, how's that going to bring in the money? Or, you know, how could you do that? Or you might even said to yourself, like, you know, you might have had some dreams about you doing something really amazing. And then you're like, said to yourself, God, no, I could never do that. Or, I'm not smart enough for that or, you know, get out of that headspace because that's not helping you, okay? Oopsie, you know, we're not, we're, you know, and again, spirits are mining. Come on, baby, light my fire. It's time to light the fire of your passions. Find your passions, find your light and bring this beautiful, loving energy. Um, bring it in and open your heart to to bring you into the onto the right path and ask spirit to help you ask spirit to guide you what it is that you need to do and here we've got the um the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles you know she's she's really grounded i get the sense she's really content she's stable she's you know she's she has no worries here like and I feel like this is the sort of energy that once you're on your path, this is this is what you this, and if this is not how like for some of you as well, I feel like this is what you're envisioning for yourself as well, is that you're wanting that security in your life, you're wanting that abundance in your life, okay? So don't give up. Keep dreaming big. Imagine. Ask for spirit for help to guide you onto the right path. Um, and, you know, you are here to spread light and love. And I'm just going to get one more card for you guys, just because I feel guided to. And just see what sort of path. Um, I'm going to do another video, guys, on what um, your life purpose is. So stay tuned for that, because I feel like... Oh, sorry guys, I kept running, running out of storage. Um, so yeah, I was getting to, yeah, I was saying that um, 
I feel like that video could be really good for you. Um, so let's have a look. Consider career possibilities that are open to you and your heart's desires. Yeah, so your spirit, your spirit guides, your angels are really wanting you to start um, to really feel what is right for you. What is it that your heart desires? What is it that makes you feel good? What is it that makes you that fills you up? What is it that lights you up okay like light my fire okay what is it that lights you up because that is the key to knowing what it is that you're here to do what it is that is the right career path for you okay and they're saying consider the career possibilities that are open to you so i feel like that with that for some of you there there's could be possibilities around you right now or I feel like actually really get strong feeling that it's about really having a look at what you know as I said what really makes your heart sing um, really exploring the options of what's going to work for you what's going to feel good for you what's going to bring you the security that you're wanting as well as um, giving you that sense of fulfillment in your everyday life in your career life okay so that's a message that i have for you group four i hope that helps you in moving forwards please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and comment below and um i will stay tuned because i think that if i'm going to have like what is your life purpose i really feel like that might be helpful for you so stay tuned for that and i wish you all the best thank you very much hello group five for those of you who picked this card which says there is a stream of love supporting my dreams let's have a look what messages spirit has for you and whether you're on the the right career path or not okay group five so i shuffled all these face down let's have a look at the messages for you are you on the right career path okay so straight away we're getting from the angel answers deck we have unlikely however there's big happy changes coming in so that's really positive for you guys i want to make sure i've got my cards on a bit of an angle anyway okay All right, so the message I'm getting for you is that I'm getting the sense here that you there's a shift that needs to take place. I feel like, you know, with these challenging times, you've been through some challenging times um, or that you are at the moment going through some challenging times. Um this could be in your personal life. It could also be to do with um, the career that you're in at the moment. I feel like you you have to, um, perhaps where you're working at the moment, you feel like you need to protect yourself. Um, I don't feel like you're very, like, I feel like you've had to sort of, you may have had to have closed yourself off. Like, I feel like you want to, you want to open up to something new, but I feel like you're sort of closing that off. Um, and it's because this could be because of fear, okay? Um, and I feel like that's what's sort of, it's holding you back at the moment because, um, because yeah, you, you have some fears regarding being vulnerable as well, okay? Um, you're wanting to bring in abundance okay you're wanting to bring in comfort in your life you're wanting you're wanting more flow in your life um and i'm also getting the sense here that you're wanting to move away from um energy that is um deceitful okay because i feel like um 
you may have had some people who betrayed you um, at work who may have like even stolen your ideas that may have um, overstepped you at work or people uh, may have not have seen your true worth okay and I feel like this could have made you feel like you couldn't be who you are um, because every time I feel like some of you every time you've tried to um, be who you truly are um, you've just been pushed down for that and it's because you just had some really toxic people around you um, and this is really fed into your um, your sense of self in your um, your own fears um, about being vulnerable about opening up because it's almost like if you you feel like if you open up to something if you start to allow allow yourself to um, move forwards and evolve into the into um, a beautiful direction that you're just going to be um, you're just going to be like sort of pushed down or not recognized or not acknowledged okay um, so this is an this this energy here is um, is holding you back but however I'm seeing here with this card big happy changes so there's a big change coming for you and I feel like with this adventure card is that you need to take yourself on an adventure um, and some healing needs to take place as well okay you might want to take yourself on a holiday or you want to might start you may want to start um, exploring your inner child exploring um, really facing these fears and what's holding you back and um, recognizing the energy around you that you no longer want want the good thing about these guys is once you recognize the fears once you recognize what your inner child's trying to tell you once you recognize the people in your life that do not serve you this is really powerful and it can feel really challenging but i know that once you start to see something that's when the light shone on it once the light shone on it that is when it allows you to move forward. This is where the healing takes place. So this is, and this brings you into maturity as well. Oh my goodness, this is flowing really well. Because when you are aware of everything, it's no longer unconscious. You can't unknow the truth, right? Once you've learned something from someone, you can't unknow that, right? So that's the same when it's got to do with your fears, with um regards other people with regards to yourself once you know something you can't unknow it and this is where the maturity comes in this is where your learning comes in okay and once this takes place and the healing takes place and you can release the past okay leave that energy in the in the past because you've matured okay you've you've got to learn about what sort of people you don't want in your life you've got to learn about the ideas or the thoughts or the beliefs that you have that you no longer want you can then bring down this shield because it won't matter if these people come along you know that you can put a boundary up and say hey i don't need you in my life right or hey i don't need that thought that thought's not helping me move forwards okay this is that maturity right and then you can let this shield down it'll open you up open you up to better experiences open you up to more light open you up to harmony open you up to um a life for yourself that's built on um you know built in strength built in um in community in love in partnerships as well okay and once you've once you've recognized this guys it's time to let it go don't cling to it don't hold on to it because i know i've done this myself Sometimes if you, you feel like if you you need to hold on to it to protect yourself because, you know, you're like, oh, I better, you know, if I can just remember this, I'll know not to let it know. That's not going to help you moving forwards. You need to look at it as I've really had the opportunity to see what I don't want in my life, what I don't want to be like in my life, and I'm, can, I'm able to now change my life. Um, and you can say I can release that now I don't need to hold on to all that don't need to hold on to it anymore because that's not going to create this beautiful um 
this beautiful partnerships in my life, these beautiful commitments in my life, these beautiful, this beautiful career that you want in your life, okay? Um, we've also got do the work, okay? So there might be some work that you need to do. It's not enough to dream or pray. You also need to take the positive action steps that you're being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. So if you have been... Um, thinking about taking a new step towards something else or even if you've been like thinking about now this is coming in for a viewer for some of you I'm getting the sense that you're going you're thinking about embarking on like a creative pursuit like with travel adventure and maybe like video logging it and making that your career I know that's like um becoming quite a popular option now but I'm, I'm getting that sense okay um and spirit's saying that if that's what you're wanting to do then you need to take the action and start get the ball ball rolling okay um if it's not that particular thing it, this could be in any area if you've got an idea of what it is that you're wanting to do moving forwards then um you need to take the action steps okay and get out of this energy say goodbye to the past you've learned from this okay you once you've recognized this you can then say goodbye you can set it free and you can allow yourself to um, live more positively and have a career of your dreams okay i've got listening with your heart i trust the mes messages i receive from my heart so your your inner self your inner guidance is giving you messages or spirit spirits giving you messages okay and nudges so if you're being nudged in a particular direction it's time to take action into that direction because that is your true career path okay and we got this card here which is artist so um the path that you're embarking on career wise it um you could be an artist you, you a, a sort of creative type work I'm seeing okay so take what resonates it says engaging in artistic activities is beneficial for your career and every other area of your life so you could be embarking on creative work of some sort okay so your path may involve that if that's not the case it could also be that doing um, creative sort of um, having a creative outlet is going to bring in the ideas and the inspiration that's going to help you moving forwards. And I'm, I'm getting like the sense, like I'm hearing Spirit saying that um, it's almost like getting into the creative energy, it, it, it sort of is freeing, it frees up, it frees up space because it allows the feminine energy in and the feminine energy is... Um, allows you to surrender to the flow of the universe it allows you to be in alignment with the universe so if you can get in creative work that gets you out of this this darker energy this heavier energy and this past energy and then it sort of opens your mind to um into to the um creative flow okay and this goes with your message here there is a stream of love supporting my dreams, okay? So opening up to that feminine energy and opening up and surrendering and, and flow is going to move you towards your dreams, okay? It's going to move you towards the right path that's for you and to this beautiful um, sense of fulfillment and, um, you know, successful business, even partnership. Like, you may be... Um, once you start taking action, you may even um, be working with another person, um, like in a business partnership or something like that. So that could be one of your dreams, right? So getting into alignment through creativity is really going to help you move in that way. And if it's not that, then, then creativity um, could be part of your path. So take what, which message resonates for you. So I wish you all the best um, as you move forwards onto your true career path and um, may you do so with ease and grace and I wish you all the best. Please leave me a thumbs up and comment below um, if this resonated for you and um, stay tuned because I'm going to do uh, another video soon on what is your life purpose which may be really helpful for you as well. So thank you very much Group 5.
Okay, I hope you can see that okay. It's gotten really dark in here. So um, for those of you who picked number six, the universe has my back. Let's see what messages spirit has for you. Okay, group six. So um, I did shuffle all these face down, but I've just set it all up to save time. Um, let's have a look. So the messages for you is... And where did my... Um, let's just use this feather. Okay. So... We've got here that you're on the right path, so keep doing what you're doing. However, I'm getting the sense here that something's better. So I feel like whatever it is you're doing at the moment um, or whatever idea that you've been thinking about, I feel like you, know, you need to, with the Angel Answers cards, they're saying that you just need to wait because there's, uh, there's something better in line for you, okay? And just to get some more information on whatever it is that you're looking at because, um, yeah, there's something better coming up for you. But in saying that, you are on the right path. You are moving in the right direction. So whether or not you're actually in the right career at the moment, you know, there could be another option for you. But you're definitely moving in the right direction, okay? Because there's, um, there's more coming in for you, okay? I feel like you... Um, there's a new door opening for you. You're embarking on a new a new future, a new path, a new chapter in your life, okay? And this chapter in your life, you're moving away from, um, you know, because you felt like you've been sort of left out. Like, I feel like you have you may have seen other people achieving and you've sort of, you've really struggled and you've really had a hard time. And, um, but I really feel like the things are going to start opening up for you. And I feel like you've had to go through some of these tri triumphs to, <coughs> excuse me, to really, um, to grow yourself, to evolve yourself and to, um, to be able to use that wisdom that you gain in order to help others as well and to share your message in the world. Um, You know, don't be afraid to um, step out of your comfort zone as well, I'm hearing. And I, it, it's time for you to integrate your energy as well. What does that mean? It means really um, coming into oneness within yourself. So really balancing your masculine, your feminine energies. Um, and to really, um, and to balance your your emotional body, your physical body, your spiritual body. So about balancing all aspects of yourself, okay? Um, because coming into balance is really going to help you get into alignment as well. Um, you also need to open up to receiving. Spirit saying the more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for the good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. So as I said, I feel like, you know, you're opening the door to a new future. You can see her walking through your back. She's just opened the door and she's looking at all the possibilities. So I feel like, you know, you are embarking in a new chapter in your life and um, there's just maybe some time to wait or there's some more information that needs to be gained. Um but you are on the right path. So whatever idea that you're thinking of, I feel like you're in the right, you, you, Spirit's saying you're on the right direction. Um, you just need to get some more information. It's sort of like, I'm getting the sense like, um, it just needs polishing, right? So the idea that you have, it's a great idea, okay? And it's aligned with your purpose in a way, um, your career purpose your career path however there's just some more information that needs to come in it just needs polishing it just needs um it just needs the right shape in the right hole it needs the right um the right ingredients to make the cake right so it needs the right um information to step forwards okay so if there's something at the moment that you've been thinking oh i should go and do this um, just wait 
get more information because there's something better okay there's something the universe has your back is what you picked which is really interesting okay and with this it's like just trust the universe has your back don't try and rush into anything because um there's just some elements that need to come in okay and so really trust your inner knowing if you're feeling like in your gut lung you're like i really should be doing this but but then again you're getting like a feeling mm, is this really right for me then perhaps it's not okay um so but the universe has your back the universe is wanting you to succeed the universe can see that you are moving in the right direction um your purpose um, your career could involve children okay so it could be teaching it could be healing children it could be to do with music it could be writing books um, you could be doing some sort of artistic work with children you could be even doing um, environmental work with children you could be um, you could have a family with children um, and that could be part of your path as well um, like because I feel like being being a parent and um, opening your heart to children and helping them grow I feel like that's part of a career that could be a career choice um, I know we don't think of it as a career but um, you know it can be full-time work raising children and bringing up children and um, and guiding them in the right direction and you know if that's something you're really passionate about then perhaps this that could be your journey as well like hey it doesn't have to be um, everything doesn't have to be the same as everyone else it doesn't have to be what society says right and these days the most beautiful thing is is that we have the freedom now to be creative we have the freedom to um, to step up and get out of the matrix get out of the um, the old ideals and, and create a future for us I mean I watch uh, follow people on YouTube who you know they're passionate about adopting children and um, giving them a home and you know that's what they are passionate about so you know the good thing is is that that we are we have that ability now to to be creative and to do what we are passionate about um, so you know you're in the right direction and you will be moving out of this energy so if you're still feeling like this just trust the universe has your back and you're being guided in the right direction don't give up okay because um, it's all coming in for you and I just want to get you one more message breaking barriers it says i'm expanding beyond limitations into joy and freedom okay so um you know moving away from anything that's you know any ideas belief systems that hold you back okay um and you can see this new growth you know and i feel like that's you you growing and um expanding and you know you'll be cutting away all of that so that you can move forwards out of this energy and into um into receiving um universal love receiving um connections receiving abundance receiving um just a really beautiful energy okay so just keep on the path whatever you're doing at the moment keep doing it it's leading you in the right direction you are moving in that direction okay so just trust um so that's the message i have for you group six it really is just trust the universe has your back don't worry um and keep going okay and um so i hope that resonated for you please give me a thumbs up write a comment below if it did resonate for you um i'm stay tuned as well because soon i'll be doing a um what is your life purpose reading so i think that'll be really helpful for you as well um so yeah thank you very much for connecting with me